drop the word food into the chat and we are going to send you our free deliverable for today, the diet check record. So make sure to drop the food word food into the chat. Welcome to the Real Results Show where we feature real health coaches and health practitioners getting real results for their clients and for themselves. I am your host, Piper Gibson, and Director of Course Enrollment. This week, I am super excited to have special guest Shannon Miller on the show, and we have some great information for you, so stick around. And if, for those of you who can't stick around, make sure to drop the word food into the chat. Welcome to the show, Shannon. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. I am so happy to have you here, and I cannot wait to dig in and really get some things answered today. So tell me what prompted you to become an FDN? So I actually went and got my master's in holistic health education and I specialized in nutrition. Uh, so the food aspect of, of health has always been a big component for me. And I feel like what was lacking was I had all this information and all these different facets of health and wellness that I wanted to bring to my clients, but was just lacking a really succinct way to deliver that. And I loved functional lab testing when I was in school, but didn't really get to dive in as deep into the nitty gritty of it as I wanted to. So when FDN kind of came across my path, it just seemed like this very well-rounded and thorough way to really bring all the information that I had been learning into a more succinct way. And then it also just took a lot of the, you know, theories and principles that I was already using and understanding to the next level. So I just feel like it has really helped to streamline a lot of what I do as a nutritionist and as a FDN practitioner. I agree 100%. I think FDN creates a very duplicatable process that seems to be the next best step for many, many people who go through the course. Yeah, I felt like I was constantly having to reinvent the, the wheel with every single client I was working with. And it's not that it's, you know, a one size fits all and you have one plan and it, you're just dishing it out. But instead of having to reinvent the wheel every single time, it at least gave me a structure to then be able to manipulate and change for each client. 100%. Absolutely. When did you graduate from the course? So I actually graduated, I want to say it was December of 2019. So just a couple months ago. How long did it take you to get through the course? I signed up for the course in May of 2019, so it took about seven months, and I will say I was eight and a half months pregnant when I signed up to be um, for with FDN, so I was actually able to get through the course while finishing out my pregnancy, getting ready for baby, and then having a an infant. That's awesome. So it is proof that the FDN course is totally doable no matter what stage of life you are in. Yes. It's just about finding those pockets of time and really being smart and dedicated with whatever time I had um, and capitalizing on that. How are you planning to build your business as an FDN? So I came in a little, I think maybe on a different um, path than some people is that I actually already had my practice set up and, and running for about a year prior to coming across FDN. So I feel like since graduating, it's really helped to implement FDN right away and just be able to help more people than I was before because there was just so much kind of administrative time that was taking up my time so that I wasn't able to reach as many clients or take on as many new clients as I really wanted to do. Um, so it has integrated beautifully with what I was already doing. Um, and I am fortunate enough uh, to have already had a home-based business. So, you know, during the season that we're in with the COVID-19, I've been able to continue working with clients because I already was doing it from home and mostly virtual. 
yeah, having a virtual business um, could not be better than right now because it's just the perfect time. And so many people are having to go virtual. So for so many of us, like we didn't really have to make any changes. It's just no, and I'm not limited to only being able to help whoever's in my community, but really to whoever needs me, I can, I can be available to. 100%. Um, so what I want to dig into with you, since you already had a pretty established practice, is how has using lab testing and the FDN approach to help you to solve your clients' cases? I feel like it just gives so much more information. And what I always say is like the more information I have as, as a practitioner, the more personalized and customized the, the plan and the recommendations can be for a client. And they can start feeling better faster because of that. Um, you know, I was doing a lot of like questionnaires already in my business. And there's a lot of information that can be gathered from questionnaires and a thorough health history and starting to make the connections with that. But really being able to have the functional lab testing information just helps to really see what's going on inside of the body. What are all the different systems doing? They're all interconnected. And so being able to take that deeper look, I've just found that my clients have those aha moments when we're going through their, their results and their recommendations because they're seeing why they've been feeling tired all the time, why their menstrual cycles have been off. Like it gives them validation that they're not crazy because what I hear time and time again, and I think so many practitioners in the functional realm experience this too, is that you go to the doctor and they, they run the labs that they run, which sometimes aren't as thorough as some of the ones that we run as FDNs. And they say everything is fine, you know, things look normal, but what they're not taking account of is those normal ranges are, are of a pretty sick population when you really look at, you know, the general population that, um, that gives those normal ranges. So to be able to then optimize somebody's health, not just say, oh, you're fine, because I, that's what most of my clients tell me. They're like, well, I went to the doctor and he said everything's fine but I still feel awful. And so to really be able to help give people validation to what they're feeling and experiencing, and then be able to give them a plan that can help turn that around has just been invaluable. And I, um, I think the lab testing is just, it's a wealth of information and it helps, you know, move people from, from disease to wellness I think a lot faster than if, if trying to do it without the functional lab testing. I love the aha moment when you are going over some lab testing with some clients and they just, the lights go on and they're like, ah, they see the light, they get it. And it's just one of the best moments I think as an FDN to have that reaction. And I think there's also this, when they see the information, and they start to understand why something's happening in their body and they are educated on how one area connects to another area, I feel like they are more compliant or almost more willing to do the recommendations because they're not just being told to, you know, take a pill or don't eat this or eat this. They're, they understand why I'm asking them to do these certain things. So they're more prone to actually follow through with that. And I think that's probably one of the biggest uh, downfalls that most people experience is that they'll be given a plan or a diet or a workout program, but they don't understand why they're doing it. So then they kind of fall off and there's not that follow through. And I think the, the follow through and the accountability in conjunction is really what makes a big difference in people seeing success and seeing results that don't just last for 30 or 60 days. Totally. I totally agree with that. I, you know, just working in the field the same way as you, I just see that every day. So tell me a little bit about how the FDN community has supported you in your own business or maybe even your own health endeavors. 
I feel, I mean, the FDN community that you get access to once you have finished the program is just a complete wealth of knowledge. I mean, there are people that, you know, signed up to become FDNPs just because of their own personal struggle. Some people that are, are much high, higher level um, in terms of edu education, like doctors and PhDs and everything like that. So, and everybody has their different niche or their different specialty. So mold is not my specialty, but it is definitely Brandon's specialty. So I'm able to get information from him that I, you know, or get questions answered that I wouldn't normally have the answer to. So, or I can refer, you know, somebody out to one of the other FDNs that specialize in something that I don't, which is really nice. I don't have to tell somebody I can't help you when I know somebody else can, which is really nice. But, you know, I also, um, Jen Malecki has her whole business course and I took that and it has honestly revolutionized how I work and how I'm able to scale my own business as well. So, on um, any FDMPs that have not done that already, I highly, highly suggest signing up for that because that is, it's a game changer. It really is. I really love Jen's course and it's really focused on, you know, the FDN practitioner and it just kind of changes things. I, I love that course as well. I think it's great. And I think that the FDN community is one of the tightest and brightest communities I've ever belonged to. Everybody is so incredibly smart and educated in whatever their niche is um but everybody's so close and we've made so many friends yeah yeah awesome thank you guys for joining us today mary Kay, Hala. thank you for joining if you are just joining us make sure to drop the word food into the chat and we are going to send you our diet check record so make sure to drop the word food into the chat if you have questions you can also drop those as well. We would love to answer those for you. So Shannon, do you have a niche or ideal client that you work with? I do. So my kind of ideal client is definitely that busy, active, uh, kind of stressed out mama that has tried every fad diet workout program out there and is just struggling with feeling run down and tired and imprisoned by food and not knowing what foods to eat or what foods to avoid. Um, so I really help to empower them to uncover underlying issues that are just keeping them sick and stuck and help them to reclaim their health and find freedom from, from food. Do you, so we talked a little bit about how you have a virtual business. Are you part-time, full-time? Are you fully virtual? So I am fully virtual, um, especially since I am a new mama myself with a nine month old. Um, so I am part-time because I am full-time mommy. Um, so I uh, take on clients about part-time and definitely as the little one grows up a little bit, I will be going more full-time. Awesome. Hala says she has a question. So Hala, drop your question into the chat. We would love to answer that for you while we're on today. Shannon, do you have a number one tip, tool, or resource that you have learned from FDN that has made all the difference in your either per personal health or health um, working as a professional? I think just really listening and tapping into the innate wisdom of the body and understanding, I think for me, when something feels off to really take that moment and listen to it. Um, I am somebody that I'm a type A personality. Um, I'm a personal trainer is kind of my main background too. And so I'm, I'm good at like pushing my body and pushing and pushing and pushing. So what FDN has really helped me to reflect on in my own life is Sometimes stopping and resting um, is the best thing that we can do for our health. It's not always more is better. It's really sometimes pulling back um, and having time to really connect the mind and the body and the soul and to not try and separate them or to try and push through when something doesn't feel right. I think that has been 
a hard lesson for my own journey just because it's it goes against who I am as a person. Um, but it really has helped my my own health shift as well. I relate to that on so many levels. And that is one of the big things that I learned going through the FDN course was sometimes if I really pull back and rest, I can see some big changes. So I, that totally resonates with me. Yeah. So tell us how listeners can get in touch with you. Do you have a website, social media handles? I do. Um, so you can get a hold of me. My website is threeleafhealth.com. Um, my handles are Instagram is at three leaf health. And then on Facebook, it's three leaf health and wellness. And you can always email me at Shannon at three leaf health.com as well. Do you have a piece of advice you'd like to share with other health coaches or professionals who might be watching right now? I think if you have an inkling right now that this is something that you want to dive into, to just say yes. Um, I am somebody that I say yes before thinking through things. And sometimes that gets me into trouble. Uh, but with FDN, it definitely benefited me. So I think if you're feeling like there's missing pieces to your practice or you're wanting to take things to the next level with functional lab testing, to to sign up and to also understand that functional lab testing is a big part of FDN, but it's not the biggest part because what Reed Davis will always say is that we do not treat test results. And I think that is so important because that's that's what separates us from what a doctor does is they generally treat the test result and we really are looking at the person and we're not treating the person, but we're giving them the tools and the resources to be able to actually heal themselves. Um, and so I think if somebody is out there thinking that this is the right thing to just jump in and figure out the details later. Fantastic piece of advice. 100%. Absolutely. That is fantastic advice. Paula says, um, my doctors insist that my blood work is normal, but the symptoms are still uh, for quite a while. Any advice to refer to other than an MD? So Hala, one of the things that I think both Shannon and I would say would be to find an FDN, find a functional diagnostic nutrition practitioner, because we are going to look at lab work and your health history from a totally different perspective and just like Shannon said, we are going to give you the tools that you need to heal your body. So my advice, Shannon, your advice, find an FDN. Yeah, find an FDN. And I think the biggest thing too is, Holly, you know your body better than anybody else. You know your body better than a doctor. And if you aren't feeling like your best self, then don't take normal or fine as as an answer and really keep searching and i think that's what we as fdnps like excel at is that we will keep digging until we figure it out and we will you know be there every step of the way we don't just kind of throw up our hands and say oh like we don't know or this looks fine it's it's we will keep digging until we uncover what's happening and on that note do you have anything that you would like to share with people who are struggling to get results with their health? Is there a piece of advice you want to give them? Well, I think a lot of what I just said to Hala, which is if, if your gut's telling you that, that something's off or if you have been, you know, kind of on that yo-yo dieting or just that cycle of not feeling your best, to really get proactive. And I think right now is a great time, a great season to put health first because we are, life has shifted, life has slowed down a little bit in a lot of ways with this COVID-19. And we have an opportunity to focus on our health and our health is everything at the end of the day. So, you know, if you are feeling run down, if you feel stressed, if your gut is not working the way that, you know, it, it should be to really seek out answers and to find somebody that is willing to journey with you and just help you to, to find health and to find joy. And, you know, for me, I was imprisoned by food for so long to so 
to find freedom from food and to be able to go anywhere and everywhere and just enjoy life um, has been such a blessing for me. And it's something that I want to help other people with. So yeah, I think, you know, take advantage of this time that we have and focus on on your health. We, as FDNPs, we just did a sleep challenge because that is something everybody can work on right now. It's it's free. <laughs> um, you don't need anything special to work on your sleep. Um, so, you know, start small even right now with just trying to get more sleep, trying to get more water, trying to focus on, you know, small sustainable changes that will keep moving you towards towards your goals and towards your ultimate health. Tell us one more time how people can find you and get in touch with you. So I'll just say the name of my business because then it might stick a little bit too. My business is Three Leaf Health and Wellness um, because for me, health is about the mind, the body, and the soul. Um, so that's the three leaves. And I'm also Irish, so the clover is my logo. Um, and so my Instagram handle is at Three Leaf Health. My Facebook is Three Leaf Health and Wellness. And then you can always email me at Shannon at threeleafhealth.com. Shannon, thank you so much for being on the show. I really enjoyed having you talking about FDN and how it has benefited you and your clients. So thank you for coming on the show today and sharing your insights to get real results. If you are joining us for the replay, make sure to drop the word food into the chat and we are going to send you our diet check record. Thank you guys for joining us today. Oh, hold on. Maybe not. Thank you guys for joining us today. Um, Holla just said, that's what I've been telling doctors, but I find doctors are intimidated when I express my concerns. As a nutritionist, thank you. Um, would you kindly write the info down? Holla, I will give you some info um, in the chat once we sign off. So I will add some, some info in there for you. And if you are a nutritionist, Hala, maybe it's time for you to go through the FDN course too, because one, you get to work on yourself mm -hmm. during the FDN course, but two, you can learn how to help other people as well. So maybe it's a great opportunity for you as well. And I think Shannon can speak to that because she has a background in nutrition as well. Yeah. I, I mean, I, that's my background is holistic nutrition. And part of what's great about the FDN course is that you run functional labs on yourself. So you are patient zero, you know, in a lot of ways or client zero, I guess. And I think that is one of the greatest things is that to talk to people just from an educational standpoint doesn't always resonate with people. But when you speak from personal experience of your own health journey, that resonates with people a lot more than seeming like this person that just has the answers, but to be real and to be like, Hey, this was my struggle. This is how, you know, functional labs and this protocol really helped me to heal myself. So Paula, I think FDN is definitely a good course for you to, to go through. Absolutely. We will get you that information, Hala. Again, thank you, Shannon, for joining me. It was a great conversation. I will be here next week. Same time, same place. You can join me for all the fun. Thank you guys for joining us. If you are watching the replay again, drop the word food into the chat. And thank you for joining us. We'll see you guys next week. Bye, Shannon. Thank you. Bye.